Have you ever felt a little intimidated when you look at another coach's webpage or ads and you see all these glowing testimonials and case studies and you think, well, I don't have any of those, so how am I ever going to be able to compete with that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you absolutely can sell your online course or coaching product with zero testimonials or case studies whatsoever. This is something that I've done now with four different products, and I promise that you can do it too. Now, what most people are teaching about this is absolute trash, to be perfectly blunt. And if you try to do it their way, it'll keep you stuck. So you're literally throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars of money down the toilet if you do not pay attention to what I'm saying here. And it'll also help you feel a lot better because you don't have to be intimidated. So, like I said, I've sold four different courses and coaching programs with no testimonials whatsoever. Now, that's not to say the testimonials don't help. The testimonials do help, but you got to start somewhere. And so I started selling for good money, some of them quite a lot of money, with zero testimonials or case studies to begin with. Now, one caveat to that is that you do need to have your own personal story as a sort of case study. And when I say zero testimonials or case studies, I mean about clients of other people. You do need to be able to show some results yourself, right? And, and that should be obvious, right? I mean, if you're going to teach people how to get in shape, but you weigh 300 pounds, probably nobody's going to listen to you. Or like when I was super broke, when I just started this business, um, I was living in Colombia for a while where the, the cost of living is super, super cheap. So you can get by on very little money. And so I, I was leaving um, after living there for a few months and I'd bought a guitar that is like a crappy guitar that I bought for 50 bucks. And so I decided to put it up on Facebook Marketplace to sell it for 50 bucks. And I had a guy reach out to me and say, uh, well, I don't have 50 bucks, but I'll give you life coaching in return for the guitar. And I thought, you know, I'm a broke dude at the time. Do I really want to get life coaching from another dude that's so broke that he can't even afford a guitar for 50 bucks? No, it's ridiculous. So you got to have some some results in your life that you can show other people how to do. And don't feel like you have to be the absolute best, like you have to be the best person at what you're teaching. You only have to be one step above where your target market is. So for my example, I created an online business that brings in five figures a month consistently. And I know that there are a lot of people that are working nine to five jobs like I used to be that would absolutely love to be in my situation so I can teach them how to do that. That said, I'm not the greatest business guy in the world, right? If I was going to try to go to Elon Musk and offer my coaching services to him, he, he would just laugh in my face and be like, get out of here, you stupid brokey. I, I don't need you. But the truth is that for somebody that is in the situation of, you know, working nine to five and wants to get out, wants to start an online business, I could probably help that person better than Elon Musk. For one thing, I have a little more time on my hands. And for another thing, I've been in that situation recently, right? For him, it's been a very, very long time since he's been in that situation. And so whatever he did to get out of that situation initially in the first place, may be way out of date, right? It was probably 30 years ago and it the same thing very well may not work anymore. So think about that in your situation, right? If you're trying to compare yourself to the people that are way further along the path than you, think about how you being a little bit further ahead of your target audience are actually a much better a uh, much better position because you relate to their situation and because you got out of that situation recently as compared to the person who is like the best um, in the space that you're in. But that being said, you should be at least one level ahead of the person that you're trying to help, the audience that you're trying to help. So here's the advice that most people tell you to do if you don't have any testimonials and case studies, and that is go find somebody that you can help and help them for free. And then once you help them get this great result, then they'll give you a testimonial and you can use that. Now, that sounds good in theory, but in practice, there are two giant problems with that approach. And I know this from experience because I tried it. Problem number one is it's kind of hard to find people to help for free in the first place, just because when you offer something for free, people think that it is of no value. Right. If you know, if somebody was to go up to you on some stranger on the street and, and hand you a computer and you say, hey, take this computer, it's free. 
What would you think about that computer? Well, probably you think that computer is a piece of junk if he's willing to give it away for free. Well, the same thing is true with your coaching services. And so if you're gonna offer to teach somebody something for free, then chances are they're not gonna value it very highly. Chances are they're not gonna think that you're very good and they're not even gonna be willing to give you an hour or a few hours of their time to listen to your teaching. Right, but let's say that even despite that problem, you do manage to find somebody that you can help for free that will agree to hear you out. Well, that leads us to problem number two, and that is that people that don't pay will not take you seriously. In the vast majority of cases, and, and I've seen this, like I've seen this in myself and in other people that I've helped people for free, I've given people courses for free, and they never value it. They never go through it. They never do the work. They never get the result. Now, there are probably a few exceptions there, and there is a chance that you might get lucky and you might find somebody who's just super motivated and just happens to believe that your advice is valuable even without paying for it, but it's very, very unlikely, and you're probably just gonna end up wasting a whole lot of time and frustrating yourself. And wasting time is a very bad thing to do when you're in a business that, when successful, could be bringing in twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. Could be bringing in a hundred thousand dollars a month, right? So every wasted month, let's say you're just throwing twenty grand down the toilet. So you really do not want to waste your time with this dumb advice that everybody else is giving. So what's the better way? Let me tell you how I have sold four different courses and coaching programs with zero testimonials or case studies. The way that you do it is you reframe the situation. So you're thinking in your head that, oh, I'm, I'm new, I'm inexperienced, this is bad, right? This is bad, the people are not gonna trust me because I'm inexperienced. Well, you can reframe that into this is something brand new, this is a one-time opportunity to be in the very first group of people that I'm doing this with, right? And you can give certain perks around that. Now, people are naturally love things that are new, they love things that are exclusive, and you can put perks around that. So what I've done, and, and what has been super successful for me, is that when I release a new program, I will give them a discount. First of all, I'll say, because this is brand new, I will um, do it for only this price, which is still a price that makes me a fair amount of money, but there's a stipulation that in order to get it for this price, once you get the result, you have to give me a testimonial or a case study, right? You make that part of the package. And so they feel like, oh, well, I'm getting it at a super low price. I'm getting it new. This is a opportunity that's probably never gonna exist again. And all I have to do is give a testimonial or case study, which is super easy. Like nobody has a problem with that usually. And then to make this even better, you can give the course live rather than just have it recorded. Now, this is a big uh, value add to your customers because now they get to actually interact with you. They actually get to get coaching from you. They actually get to ask you questions rather than just watching pre-recorded material. So that's a big value add for them. But on the other hand, it's a big value add for you because now you have to deliver the course live, which means that you don't have to create the whole course up front. Right, you can just have a general outline of what you're going to teach, you have a date when you're gonna start, and you just start teaching weekly le lessons, and you create the lessons a week at a time. That gives you plenty of time to create each lesson, and you don't have to create anything before you sell it. So basically, you're making most of the money before you actually do the work. And then finally, one more thing that you can do if you want is to offer a guarantee, right? Offer you know, if you follow my system, you will get X result. If not, I will refund you in full, right? You can offer that guarantee, which, which eases people's mind about the risk. Now, you do want to offer stipulations to that guarantee, right? Like you don't want just, oh, if you don't like it, send it back because you'll get a whole bunch of people that are like, oh, I, I just didn't get around to it. So will you give me my money back? which really, really sucks for you because now uh, you promise that you give that money back. So now you have to, even if you've gone and like spent it on stuff or you've, you, you know, you should probably keep a little bit of money on hand just in case, but it really sucks to have people reach out to you and say, I want a guarantee because I didn't do the work, right? Like if you want a guarantee because 
my system didn't work for you, then then that's one thing. Like, you know, you want to stipulate that. Like, here's you have to do this, 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 and this. And if it still doesn't work for you, then you get the, your money back. So give that a try. And I know this is a free video, so I'm not really expecting very much. But if you do happen to implement what I told you and you get a great result from it, then I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what your experience was and maybe even use your comment as a testimonial. And if by any chance you're tired of getting crappy leads that have like three second attention spans from places like Facebook and TikTok, then check out this video where I walk you through my entire method for getting highly qualified leads from YouTube. Ciao.